Hi, my name is Joanna, and one of the biggest influences in my life is my mom. Uh, we probably just had some small fight over either my clothes being all over my floor, which they're still all over my floor, or me not washing the dishes. <laughs> Actually, we did fight about that today, or me being too busy to watch The Bachelor. At today, she was too busy to watch The Bachelor, so it wasn't today. I recommend. That season was great, really good. The girls are kind of crazy, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> my mom, she really forces me to be better. Um, she's never let me be yogurt at anything, especially cleaning the upstairs bathroom. And something about her that other people notice, but I have never noticed at all, is that she has an accent, I guess. I do notice when she says quinoa instead of quinoa, but yeah, a lot of my friends will tell me like, oh, your mom has an accent, or it's hard to understand what she's trying to say over the phone. And, you know, I bet a lot of us can relate to this because most of us have immigrant parents. But yeah, my mom, I guess, does have a thick accent, seeing that she immigrated to America from Cameroon, which is in West which is in West Africa, like Midwest Africa. And she was pregnant with my sister when she immigrated. Um, and she raised my older sister and I as a single mom in a new country uh, with a whole new language. And um, she was actually in nursing school when she was pregnant with me and her daily schedule ready. She would drop my sister off at school and then she would work like a home health care job during the day and then she would pick my sister up from school, take like a nap in the afternoon and then once my sister was asleep, she would head to her college courses and then she would study in the library. So she had to study way more than the average college student, right? Because she was learning English as she went. And actually at the start of nursing school, she failed. <laughs> she, she tells me that she failed a bunch of her tests. And one day her teacher asked her to stay after class because my mom was attentive and participated. And it was known, like if you're continuously studying in the library until 6 a.m., you know, your teachers kind of start to notice. And so her teacher asked her, she was like, why are you doing so bad on the test? Like seriously flunking. And she said it was because of the tests, um, the format of the tests, how they were written. And you know tests in America, they're like tricky. And that's fine for the everyday English speaker. But for my mom, that was her undoing when it came to taking the tests. And once the teacher knew of this, a solution was found. And my mom flew her way through nursing school, where apparently, I mean, I was a talk of the town. Like, I wasn't even born yet. And everyone was like asking about me. A star from the womb. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it up, guys. You can't. But yeah, my mom would finish studying about 5, 6 a.m., head back home an hour or two later, drop my sister off at school, go back to home healthcare job, da 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 da. Um, personally, I go to school and to my clubs and do my homework, and I'm dead. I'm down for the count. I'm like this IMSA lifestyle killing me, crushing me. So I can't imagine what that was like for my mom. That. And I mean, she she's never not taken an opportunity to sacrifice for me. And she's the reason that I know how to work hard. And she's the reason I have any grit at all. I mean, how could she not be my biggest influence? Who else could possibly, possibly fill that spot? So yeah, she's 100% the reason I am who I am. And she's always gonna be my biggest influence, even when she's done with me, cause I'm too busy to watch The Bachelor. Um, so yeah. I really recommend Matt's season though. Yes, and that's my biggest influence. If I had to pick an African-American person who inspires me, I would definitely choose Gerald Anderson Lawson or Jerry Lawson. Growing up in Queens, he was always the underdog. Born on December 1st, 1940, he was pushed into a world that wasn't very kind to people who looked like him. However, that didn't stop him. At a young age, he was fascinated in electronics and made pocket money fixing his neighbor's television sets. He was always interested in computing, which got into Silicon Valley's homebrew computer club, even though he was the only black member at that time. When he was in the club, he rubbed shoulders with now popular figures like Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Uh, he is most famous for designing the Fairchild Channel F video game console, as well as leading the team that pioneered the commercial's first game cartridge. And since then, he's been given the nickname as the father of modern gaming. Sadly, he passed away in 2011 due to his complications relating to his diabetes, but I'm happy to know that his legacy will live on. 
When deciding my major, I specifically thought about him and his story was a huge factor for me and confirming my decision to go into engineering. How he carried himself and paved the path in a field of study that he excelled at inspires me. It means even more that he was a pioneer in a field that he enjoyed and was passionate about, even if it was predominantly white. Every day I'm inspired to follow in his footsteps. When I look how he did all this while being black in the 1970s, I feel better about my decision. That's it.